like the place and I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't miss visiting some of its ancient temples and one of the most beautiful beaches of this region. Don't miss it. Do find the time. I believe you have an evening tea at the Ashok, right? It's a, on a very, very nice beach. Do visit the Auroville, do visit the Ashram, and do visit the main beach today. Find the time. It's a wonderful location. You'll find this very enriching, and you'll really appreciate what a wonderful place this is. It's pious, and it's nature-rich. Puducherry is a very pious and a nature-rich part of India. And of course, it's one of the ancient ones where Romans came, the Chinese came, uh, the Italians came. There are many, in fact, it's a rich history where we go back to the much earlier. We got Chola temples where we had an ancient Sanskrit university here. I don't know. It's waiting to be, but we are, thanks to the tourism investments by the government of India into Puducherry, all these are getting revived. We are reviving an Archimedo Museum, which you will see one of the ancient remain, ancient artifacts which Romans left. So it's, it's, it's uh, well, it goes beyond the region. Friends, carrying forward what you said, since time is of constraint, you've triggered my thinking on the following lines. I have the following ideas to share. Number one is how about encouraging temple tourism in the, in the region? It's very temple rich. We all travel to the region in, um, in one form for some reason or the other, and we do find temple tourism a very major uniting factor. I've seen Ramayana performed in, in South Asian, Asian countries and in such a beautiful and a colorful way. We have Buddha, Buddha is linking us across the region. So I would say, look at number one suggestion is temple tourism. How can we encourage university youth, men and women, because we have to invest the next generation. How do we invest, take the youth as part of this uh, exposure trips for temple tourism? And then temple tourism is not about just worshipping deities, it's linking ourselves with the thought of the region. That second thought which brings me is, how about creating South Asian chairs and thoughts in our universities? Indian thought, South Asian thought, though we have so much of Western thought, so much of honors. What about graduation honors in South Asian thought? We don't have these kinds of honors courses in our graduate classes. Wherever we have, we love it. So I think that would be A, temple tourism. Secondly is university chairs and for South Asian thought. Third is building youth groups for peace. As Mr. Indesh very beautifully said, this Asia, this region does promote peace, does live in peace, does believe in peace, does practice peace, does pray for universal peace. So I think why not, why not create very good active youth groups for peace? This is my third thought. And fourth, I think what can really unite us is also yoga international conferences of the region. Because yoga comes very naturally to the region with, with the kind of literal cultural heritage we have. Yoga for the region. My second thought, my friends, is, is a one common call center for the Indo Sea. Now, this connects the common man to the common call center. When you have a common call center, you invite participation of an ordinary simple citizen who may have an idea or may, who may have a thought, but doesn't get associated because he thinks it's probably academic or it's strategic or it's armed forces or it's naval. No, a common man may have an idea on the region. How about picking up his thinking? So a one common call center for the indo sea region. Third, I, what triggered my thought was from Admiral Lambas is for the SARC region, is disaster management. How do we cooperate and work together on disaster management where we could be first responders? Like India was a very major first responder when earthquakes struck Nepal a few years ago. So Bangladesh and India, we are responding to Bangladesh immediately when something like this happens. Better on medical front, as our Honorable Governor said. So A, how do we cooperate? So while we cooperate on several fronts, when you cooperate on disaster management, automatically what she said also gets cooperated because it cannot be without the medical cooperation. This is my third suggestion. And my fourth suggestion, friends, to for consideration is, I do believe there's a SARC University already. And SARC University is already housed in Delhi. Am I right? How about co-opting them 
and see what kind of research, if they are they participant here, if they're not participants here, cope them also and see what kind of areas of analysis could they do. So I thought this you made me think sitting here with you. These are some of my ideas on cultural tourism, temple tourism, yoga, university South Asian chairs, groups for youth and peace, and one common call center, and then cooperation in disaster management. I'm not wishing to repeat what has been said, but I thought to sticking to the time frame since both of us have to stick to and to return to, and uh, see not be not delayed for the next appointments for the day. Want to thank you for the opportunity you gave me to express my views and that you come to a uh, wise and nature with Guru Jerry. You're welcome again. Thank you very much.